welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time we're going to take a look at this, the very fast SanDisk Extreme Pro portable SSD. This has been supplied for review by my friends at Western Digital who own SanDisk, but I do want to point out this is not a paid review, I don't do paid reviews here on Explaining Computers. But, as you'll know if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, I do take a particular interest in storage technology, and in particular in SSDs. So let's go and take a closer look. So, here we have our SanDisk Extreme Pro Portable SSD, which as you can probably see is a 500 gigabyte model, although there's also one terabyte and two terabyte versions available. And uh, if we flick it over, you can probably see on the back there, this comes with a five year limited warranty, which is clearly very good. And uh, if we flick back to the front of the box, you can see that this drive's key feature is a claimed read speed of up to 1050 megabytes a second. So this drive can, in theory, supply about a gigabyte a second of data to the computer it's connected to, which is very, very good for a portable drive. And the reason it can do this is that the SanDisk Extreme Pro portable SSD is based on an NVMe drive internally, not a SATA drive. And it's worth noting there is a version of this drive available that has a SATA drive internally, which is hence much slower, and that is the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD, but the Extreme Pro is the one based on the internal NVMe drive, which gives us this amazing uh, read speed. And of course, I'll be testing this later in the video. So, I think it's now high time to get inside, so we'll uh, flick things over like that, bring in Stanley the knife and just cut through the, uh, the tape at the top there. Oh, it was cut already. There we are. Didn't need to worry with uh, Stanley the knife at all. Never mind. And um, let's get in here. Oh, wrong way up. There we are. Aha! There is our drive and we've got that nice, nice, nice feel to that. We'll have a look at that more in a second. We've also got some uh, instructions, I presume, or warranty or something like that. And there's a couple of cables to connect to uh, USB-C or USB uh, type A. So uh, let's bring the drive in and take a, a closer look at it. And what we have here is a drive with an aluminium casing or aluminium casing if you're in the United States. Uh, this red here I'm pretty certain is anodized aluminium. And we've also got sort of soft touch coating as well, particularly underneath here it seems to have a very nice sort of silicon coating. So it seems to be quite a robust drive. And it should be robust because it's got an IP55 rating, which means it's dust resistant and water resistant to the extent you should be able to sort of jet water at it, it would survive it. You can't immerse this in water, but then I wouldn't want to uh, immerse an SSD in water. In terms of connectivity, on the end it has got a USB-C connector, that's something to connecting it to a computer. And in terms of price, which I'm sure you want to know, the price in uh, November 2019 for this 500 gigabyte model on Amazon was £127 in the UK and $126 in the United States. And the one terabyte model was selling for about £230 or $230. And just to give you a comparison, the 500 gigabyte SATA version of this drive, the Extreme rather than the Extreme Pro, is selling for about £90 or $90. So there is a reasonable premium to have the Extreme Pro version of the drive. But it does seem at first feel to be a very nice device, but of course we want to know more than just a feeling the thing. So it's now time to get it connected to a computer and to see how it performs. Right, I've now connected the SSD to a USB 3 port on my laptop and it's worth recalling that the maximum theoretical speed of the drive is 1050 megabytes a second. This is equivalent to 8.4 gigabits per second, which is significant as many USB 3 ports are not this fast. If we look at this table, we can see that USB 3.0 ports have a maximum speed of 5 gigabits per second, or 625 megabytes a second, which will slow down the SSD. However, USB 3.1 ports have a theoretical maximum speed of 10 gigabits per second, and USB 3.2 can transfer data at up to 20 gigabits per second, which will allow the SanDisk drive to perform at full speed. Returning to our SSD, the USB port to my 2018 laptop 
are actually USB 3.0, which will constrain the speed of the SSD. But I do want to run a test on a computer with USB 3.0 ports because they remain by far the most common in use. So if we go to our desktop and bring up uh, this PC, you'll see that the SSD has mounted, it was clearly pre-formatted. And if we open it up, you'll see there's some uh, encryption software there, which we'll have a look at a little bit later on. But uh, for now, I'm going to go to a crystal disk mark, which I've got running down here. And I'll start off all these tests. And basically the most important test here will be the first one, which shows us writing and reading uh, large files. And you can see I'm using a one gigabyte file as our test file here, and we're running a test three times, and it's running obviously on the SSD. So let's speed through to the end of the tests. And there we are, it's finished. And we've got some very respectable results, uh, about 440 megabytes a second read and write for the large files, and some decent results for the, the smaller files as well. If you wanted to, for example, uh, run an operating system off this drive, that would certainly work very well indeed. But uh, good as these results are, and I'm, I am very pleased with those results, I'm pretty certain they're being constrained by the speed of a USB 3.0. So let's now move on to test the drive again on a computer with USB 3.1 ports. Right, I've now connected the Samsung Pro to my test rig, which doesn't have native USB 3.1 ports, but which has got a USB 3.1 card fitted, and that's what the drive is plugged into. So if we have a look on the desktop here, we'll see the drive, hopefully, yes, there it is, that's absolutely fine. And so let's now we'll run up Crystal Disk Mark here. This will be very interesting, let's run all the tests. And again, we'll speed through to the end. And there we are, it's finished. And these are some spectacularly good results, aren't they? Maybe not 1050 megabytes a second, but what 786 megabytes a second read and 702 megabytes a second write. That is certainly the fastest performance I've ever seen from a, an externally connected drive. So I'm very impressed with the, the Samsung Pro in this test. Let's just bring up the results from the Zenbook so we can compare connecting the drive by USB 3.1 to USB 3.0. And you can see it makes a massive difference if you've got the drive connected uh, via USB 3.1. So great results here, but let's now move on to do a more real world copy test. Greetings, here I am back again, and I'm now going to do a copy test, copying a large block of files from this PC to the SanDisk SSD. And I'm going to copy the files from a RAM drive, which I've created, which is a drive B here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to constrain the speed of the test. I don't want to bottleneck the SSD from the drive I'm copying from, because this test rig has got a SATA internal drive, not an NVMe drive, so it'd be slower than the potentially the Extreme Pro SSD. Well, it would be slower than the Extreme Pro SSD. And just to show you the speed of the RAM drive, we'll run up Crystal Disk Mark. We'll just run the first test here to give you a, an idea. Shouldn't take a second to run through. And uh, there we are, which running at about, uh, well, about 2,000 megabytes a second read and 2.6 write, which is not that fast for a RAM drive. This, this machine has got, though, a DDR3 RAM. It's not terribly fast, but that's clearly massively faster than the, the speed of the uh, SanDisk Pro, so it won't constrain the test. So let's open up the, uh, the RAM drive and we've got loads of files here. And if I select them all, you'll see we've got files totaling about eight gigabytes. So I'm gonna do a copy of those, all large video files, the sort of things I'd copy all the time. And we'll therefore open up the Extreme Pro SSD and we'll do a paste. And hopefully it's copying the files. It's nice and quick, but it isn't. It isn't that fast, is it? About uh, 300 megabytes a second we're getting here, which is uh, perfectly respectable, a very good copy speed to an external drive, but nowhere near as fast as the reported speed we got in a crystal disk mark for the uh, SanDisk Extreme Pro SSD, which is why it's always worth doing a, a real copy test as we're doing here. And uh, there we are, it's finished. It completed the copy of those eight gigabytes of files in about 28.1 seconds which by the magic of filmmaking, I know is about 293 megabytes a second, which as I just said, a very respectable speed. I'm very happy with the SanDisk Extreme Pro SSD copying at that type of rate. 
but it does remind us we always have to do a real world speed test to get the, the true practical speed of uh, any form of drive. So, here I am back again to try out the encryption software that comes on a SanDisk drive. So I'll open up this PC and open up the SSD there, and you'll see we've got this software called SanDisk Secure Access. And uh, this is Windows software, although I understand you can download a version for Mac as well, but it's not available for Linux. And if you're wondering what's in this folder here, it is just some uh, instructions. I don't need instructions, no, 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 let's just try the thing out. I haven't tried this yet, I'm trying this live with you. So let's just run up this file, which I understand runs locally, so you don't install anything on your computer. Oh, it's checking for updates. So we want updates, let's ignore that, and uh, oh yeah, there we are. It's run up the software, peace of mind in today's digital world. So uh, we'll click next on that, we'll accept the license, because if we don't, we'll be here until the end of time. And uh, what this is basically doing, as I understand it, is creating an encrypted folder on the SSD. So we have to create a password, I'll just do that. And confirm it. Do we want a hint? Put hello in there just to keep it happy. And there we are, ah, and it's all run up, that's cool, excellent. And uh, ah, here we are, so this is basically somewhere we can drop files, I imagine. Down here I've got a folder with some files in, where is it? Down there. So if we just take those files and we'll take a copy of those, presume I can go over here and do a paste. Yes, I can, that's transferring to our uh, secure thingy, which looks uh, pretty good, that's fine. So uh, let's assume we've now saved those, so we'll uh, log off and come out of this and close it down. Let's look back to our um, drive here. Oh, it's created, look, uh, there we are, the secure vault has been created. If we open that up, this is, Got some basic configuration files, and are these? Ah, oh, these are presumably each of the four files in an encrypted format. I that's basically what it's done. I like to have a look. And so if we run up the software now, it, maybe we would take in the drive out, put it back, come back later. We will run it up. And this time when we run it up, it just asks for the password, which I can put in. There we are, and hopefully that would let us in. We'll not stop seeing that thing. And um, Yes, there we are, we're now back in and we can access the files. Will they play from the encrypted drive? They will. Oh, that's marvellous. So, there we are. We've uh, seen that we can create an encrypted folder using the SanDisk software. Now, admittedly, I'll still probably continue to use VeraCrypt to encrypt files on the portable drives, not least because it works in Linux as well as Windows and on a Mac. But it's nice that SanDisk have included this software for Windows and Mac users. The SanDisk Extreme Pro Portable SSD is a very nice professional product. Whether it's worth paying extra to have the Pro version of this drive with the internal NVMe SSD rather than the SATA SSD has to depend on what you're going to plug the drive into, and it is worth stressing that many systems today will not have the speed of either USB ports or internal drives to take full advantage of the Extreme Pro model. But regardless of that, this is a very solid, very robust, fantastic backup drive. As a YouTuber, I am always fighting to have enough backup space available as I'm making my videos, and indeed already I've got backup files for this video and two other videos on this drive. This has already become part of the production equipment for this channel. But now that's it for another video. If you enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I hope to talk to you again very soon.